Good morning. It's uh, Friday, June 16th, 2023, up uh, camping at House Pond Campsite up at uh, the uh, uh, Pasico Pally Road. Black flies are really bad this morning, so I'm not going to spend much time outside. I'm going to run the tent, uh, tarp like I was earlier. Um, bus get some rain today. Hopefully not too, too early. I want to hike along uh, uh, Old Edic Road. Patch the tube again. I've had a leak, a slow leak. I snagged a tree a while back, and the first patch I put on there worked for a while, didn't hold very well. This one I really uh, got a nice smaller patch, put it on there. Um, a lot of rubber cement, it seems like it's holding well. Um, got a big sack of wood ready to go for, um, you know, once it starts to rain, I want to make sure I dry firewood for the rest of the weekend. Brought my heater, might need it. I figure if it's going to be cold later on today. Put the hammock away because um, I was afraid it was going to rain last night. I'll pull it out later on if it's decent enough. I have the bug screen a screen now too that I can use with the hammock because it definitely is buggy out this morning. I'm very soon we're running back into the screen tent. I haven't had the screen tent out in a while, but now I didn't even set it up initially because it wasn't so so buggy. But as the afternoon progressed yesterday, the black flies, the gnats, and the mosquitoes are out this time. So. Uh, Definitely need, the, definitely need uh, bug spray when I'm not in, under the tarp. I said I'll probably bring the screen in. Uh, if I want to lay in the hammock layer, I'll use the screen with that. Uh, for a while yesterday, it was warm enough. I did spend some time out in, in the East Canada Creek the, with the uh, tube. I have my kayak. I'm going to probably kayak on Sunday into Monday. Either we'll go up to Pally Place to kayak, or I will um, go to... Uh, um, Go to uh, Lily Lake slash Stuart Landing slash, um, oh, the Stuart, uh, I can't think of the creek is there. But uh, it would definitely be nice to see the lilies if they're out still. I'm not totally sure. They're always tricky because they're usually fairly early in this spring and they're only out for a short time. We got a wild turkey up there, which I don't know, you probably can't see. He just dipped off the road. I have no idea if it was a Jake or a Tom. I didn't really uh, get a good look at it. So yeah, it's East Canada Creek is like it always is. We'll just walk back here real quickly. I was looking at bicycles. Um, I have some books about reading bicycle repair. Um, the more I look at my old bicycle, I just don't know if I'm going to repair it good enough to get in good shape. And the bicycles are not that expensive. I want to get used one because I don't want to get a new one. For one, I just don't want a new one to be stolen, and they're so expensive. And I just feel like it's better to reuse an old product. And it's not like you don't see a lot of bicycles at bike sales. And then one of the local bike shops where I live nearby, uh, Mad Dog, has a big used bicycle sale every Saturday. So I'm hoping if I get something local, that might be a good way to go. Or I'll look at uh, you know various roadside places. I mean, there's a place I saw a bicycle I saw on the way out at uh, antique store. You know, it was a, an older bicycle, but it looked really nice and it was a big, tall bicycle, so it would have been good. But I want to, you know, become learn as much about bicycles as possible before I go buying one. I think that was the mistake when I was in college, and I got the nice one from, um, what I thought was a real nice bicycle from uh, Down Tube and paid top dollar, which was like 500 bucks back in the day. But that bicycle just had nonstop problems with the spokes, especially. And it was, you know, more of a, uh, one of those hybrid bikes that, you know, were popular at the time. But uh, really, I, I have a lot of, they have a lot of issues with the, uh, uh, you know, they have suspension components that tend to fail over time. And then the nubbier tires really just are not great for any kind of length of distance travel. I'd much rather have, you know, road tire and road gears. Just because I want to use the bike more for commuting and on the bike paths. And... You know, also the gravel roads like around here, like like Seco Pally to get around, you know, or Moose River Plains or other places or Finger Lakes National Forest just to get from place A to place B. You know, gravel roads. I don't want to do any of the mountain biking stuff. I really, you know, I really don't want you to like mountain biking in the woods because not only is it rough, it, uh, you just miss a lot that you would see walking. But on these roads, I mean, a bike will get you a lot farther on a gravel road than, than walking well. If you want to try to get from point A to point B, that's a really good way to do it. 
So yeah, the other issue I'm having is the camp stove. Uh, one of the burners has, has rusted out again. I replaced both the burners on that camp stove uh, four, three or four years ago. First I had a lot of rust, issue of rust after that winter camping trip when I spent uh, seven, uh, six, day, six nights out in Finger Lakes National Forest in December that one year. And it was just very cold and snowy and wet. And I've been while I went into camping, and I think the cold and wet kind of just rusted out with the heat and then have issues with uh, pots boiling over. <laughs> then think about getting even a larger stove model, a standalone model that works off the propane. I want to do a lot more cooking now that I'm you know, really into healthy eating, although I am already doing like a lot more cooking, but I have two burners. I don't know, keep this old stove, it works, but uh, 